Hi everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs and today I wanted to show you how to use printable sentiments in both Silhouette and Cricut. So I have this little card, um, it's an easel card, it's the um, it's got the honeycomb and the beehive and the little bees, but it's an easel card. So when you open it up, it pops open and folds, and then you can just display it on your desk or your mantle or whatever. I love these little easel cards. Um, right now, we're supposed to be social distancing, and what a great way to tell a friend or a neighbor or a family member that you're thinking of them by sending them a card. And these easel cards are just perfect. They have a little printable sentiment right here, but they also open up so you have lots of room to write your own message. And then again, you just fold them along the score line right there and pop them up so that you can see your sentiment and display your card. So this one says, just because you're awesome. And this card has three printable sentiments. So it has the first one that says, just because you're totally awesome. Then it says, have a beautiful day. And then the last one is, Happy birthday. So let me go ahead and show you how to get, do these using your software. And it's super, super easy. You will be amazed at the fun you can have um, using your printable sentiments. To create this card in the Cricut, you will need Cricut Design Space. So go ahead and open that. And this is the home page. Once you're at the home page, you're going to come up to New Project. And I'm going to show you how to download the image and or the file, excuse me, and the images to do your printable sentiments. So once you're in your canvas, you're going to come to upload and then we'll come to upload images. Going to go to browse or of course you can drag and drop either one, whichever one you're more comfortable with and then um, Navigate to where you saved your file. So there's my Beehive easel card. I'm going to open it up and we're going to use the images in Design Space. So if I click on Design Space, you'll notice first that there are two different files. So there is the easel card with the preparation lines or the easel card with the score lines. Doesn't matter which one you choose. Some people prefer score lines and some people prefer um, preparation lines. I'm going to go ahead and choose the score lines just because there's one added step in here and I want to make sure that you get it. So um, click your Beehive ESOL card score lines and go ahead and open it. And there is your file. And then of course you can rename the image or you can leave it as is and then you can give it some tags. So I'm gonna tag it with bees, um, card, and then I always tag it from the company that I purchased the image from. So I'm gonna do paper closet designs. And that way it just makes it easier when I go to look for it if I can't find it um, to find the file. Then go ahead and click save. And there is my card. There's all my files. Now to upload the um, print and cut image or the PNG, I'm going to go to upload files again. We're going to browse. And this time we're going to go to the PNG files. Now these are the PNG files that are under design space and they're saved at a diff just a little bit different than they are for other um, cutting systems, cutting software, so that they will open up at the right size. So go ahead and click on that folder to open it. And we're going to do just because, and then click on it and open. And then what happens is it brings it in with a background. So now you can select the, um, the image type. And I always do complex. It, really doesn't matter but it just it seems to make it a little bit easier so go ahead and hit complex and then continue and there is your image that we're going to use so we're going to hit continue again it's got the um, transparent background which is perfect it's what we want 
And now we can save it as a print and cut image, or we can save it as a cut image. If we save it as the cut image, all you're going to get is the outside shape, and we don't need that because that outside shape is already in the files. We just want it as a print and then cut image. So you can, um, again, change the name if you want to. You can also add tags, so I'm going to do my tags again. Code sentiment. And I'm also going to put Pupa Closet Designs again, and then go ahead and hit save. So now we have the card and we have the sentiment. So I'm going to open just the sentiment first. I'm going to go ahead and click on it to select. You'll get the green box around it, and then we're going to insert image. And of course, you could insert both of these at the same time. I just want to show you the print image first before we get into the card. So it's going to upload it. And it does take just a minute when I'm recording. So there is my um, my card base, or excuse me, my sentiment for the card. And it's completely ready to go. So all I need to do, if you come over here in your layers panel, it says it's going to cut and print. So I'm going to click on make it. My silhouette machine is not turned on, so we're going to go as far as we can with this. So there is your mat. You will put a letter size paper on there because that's probably what you printed it on because you have a letter size printer. And there is your image. It does not have a line around where the tag goes, but it doesn't need one. It does have this box. This is like a registration box. And this is how the Cricut will know where to cut your image. So we'll go to continue. And then um, it come, you come to this window and you can go ahead and hit send to printer. When you click send to printer, it's going to go ahead and print that image out. Um, you can print how many copies you want. You can do additional copies if you're going to do it. The add bleed, I don't really worry about. But um, there's your printers. So you can, if you have multiple printers, you can do a drop down and choose your printer. And then you would just hit print. I'm not going to do that at this point because um, there's no need to do it. But you would go ahead and hit print. And then what will happen is after it's printed, then you'll get an, um, you'll go ahead and continue and cut this out just like you would a normal image. But when you lay your paper on the mat like this, hold on. When you lay your paper on the mat, you're going to want to make sure that your page is laying directly on the mat, just like it shows on your screen. And then when you send it, um, I'm not hooked up, so it's telling me that I can't go any farther than this. But then when you go ahead and send it to the Cricut, it will cut out on that cut line, not on that square. And you will have a perfect um, sentiment cut. So we're going to go ahead and hit cancel. I hope that made sense to you. It's really very simple. And hit cancel again. All right, now I want to show you how to do that card. Um, I've showed this in other videos, but just because this is open, let's go ahead and do it again. So we're going to come down here to our upload. And the last, oh, 10 to 12 images or files that you have, have uploaded will show up in here. If it doesn't show up here, you can also go into your images and you can search it that way. Um, but for now, let's just go in to the uploads and I'm going to click on that file. There it is. It's selected. Insert image. And it is a fairly large file, so it's going to take it a little minute to do it. Okay, the reason I wanted to show you how to do this card is because this is probably the number one question I get when doing um, Cricut Design Space with the score lines. 
If I were to send this, actually, let's ungroup it so that this makes sense and you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to just um, click on this image right here. If I were to send this to the Cricut right now to cut, if you come over here, you'll notice that the lines are cut and the box is cut. And so what's going to happen is when I send this, I'm, it's going to cut out the card base, but it's also going to cut these lines. And these are actually supposed to be score lines. This one will be cut, but these are supposed to be score lines. So the way to fix that is super, super simple. But like I said, this is the biggest question I get all of the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my layers panel and I'm going to click on this um, the little thumbnail or icon that shows those lines. Make sure that that is the only one that's selected. Then you're going to come up here to line type. Hit the drop down menu and select score. It changes that. It looks like it's a perforation mark, but it's not. It's a score line. So now what I need to do is I need to select both of these. So I've selected the card base and the score lines, and I'm going to come down here to my layers panel in the bottom and I'm going to attach it. So now when I hit make it, it's going to sort it out, out to my mats. Um, there again is your print and cut. The only one that I really want to show you that we're going to work on right now is that card base. And it's right here. So now um, those what looks like perforation lines is actually going to score. It tells you right up here you're going to need to score it. And it's all attached to one piece. So that answers your question of how do I get those, those lines to not cut my card in half, but to score it. So let's go ahead and cancel. And come on back to the card. And now you have everything you need to make this beehive easel card with a printable sentiment. Um, let's move up here a little bit. So now your sentiment is right here. That means you don't need to cut this piece out. You can cut this piece out as a blank piece and then handwrite or stamp or whatever you would like, but you don't need to cut that one out. One more thing really quick that I'm going to show you is all of my Cricut files come with a word, words down here that resize to a width. Most of them are 11.5, but I stick that on there because sometimes Cricut opens things at an odd size, and if you're not quite sure what size you need to open it up to, it's right here. But we don't want to cut this, so I'm just going to click on it and delete it. So I hope that answers all your questions. It's super, super easy to do printables in both Cricut or with your Cricut, and I hope you'll try some. Thanks for joining me today. Also, if you'll hit the subscribe button down below, you will make sure that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you again.